Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a live countdown. A live countdown is a really good thing to have in your game, because let's say you're updating the game, you can give the players in the game a countdown until the update happens. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you'll end up at the top bar here. Click on View and Enable Explorer and Properties. Now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, we want to go and insert our part, which is going to be holding the countdown. Now keep in mind, you can set the transparency to this part to zero, but for this tutorial, sorry, to, to one, uh, but for this tutorial, we're just going to be kind of leaving it just like that, and then the countdown will be displayed here. But now we've made our part, we want to go and make sure that it is anchored. And then we want to go and change the name of our part to countdown part. So now that you've renamed your part, you want to head over to your countdown part, click on the plus button and insert a surface GUI. Now we want to click on the plus button and insert a text label. So now that you've inserted your text label, you want to go and size it so it fits the part. So as you guys can see, we've got it along here, but now we need to expand it down here. So all you do, you go down here into the properties and change the size so you can adjust that number to make it go lengthways and then this number to, to depend on how far it goes down. So for example, let's to put it at 250. You can see it doesn't reach there just yet, but we're just gonna kind of adjust the numbers depending on what size your your part is. And we can see it's kind of just a little bit out. So we'll go and change this to 340, just like that. Or maybe not 340, maybe 335 would work. There you go. As you guys can see, 335 fits our part. So now that you've scaled your text label to your part, you want to head over here, click on your text label again, and now you want to go and adjust a couple of the text settings. For example, the font, and you are also able to adjust the size of the font by either clicking on text scaled or changing the text size here. So now that you've finished adjusting your text label, we want to go and rename it to countdown text. So once you've finished adjusting your text label, you want to head over to your countdown part, click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside of your countdown part, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of the script, we want to go and adjust a couple of things. So depending on when you want your countdown to end, or when you want your countdown to count down to, you want to go and change the month, the day, the hour, the minute, and the second. So for example, let's say we wanted it to go uh, the countdown to end on the seven month, we would have want to put seven there. And here we have it on day 22. So we, it's going to be going off on the day 22nd of the seven month on the seventh hour. So probably 7 a.m. And then depending on what your minute is and then also your seconds. Now, keep in mind, you can go and change these just by saying, let's say we want it to go off on Christmas Day. We change the month to 12. We change the day to 25th. And then we go and change the hour to zero because basically that would be midnight. So now that you've inserted your date, you want to go down to line three, and then you want to change the plus 12 to whatever your GMT time is. So for example, let's say you lived in New York, your time there would be GMT negative five. So we want to go and change this to a negative, the plus we want to change it to a negative, and then we want to go negative five. So now this time it is set to New York time, but because my time zone is plus 12, we are changing this back to plus 12, just like that. So now that you've chosen your time zone, you now want to go and adjust something on line 11. So depending on what you named your countdown part, as you guys can see, I renamed my part to countdown part, which is holding the countdown. I've named it to countdown part. So whatever you've gone and renamed your part to, change countdown part to that. Now also on Surface GUI, depending if you change your Surface GUI name, you want to go and change Surface GUI to whatever your Surface GUI name is. And whatever you renamed your text label to, you want to go and change the text label name over here. And then you don't need to adjust anything here because we are basically going to the property of the text uh, the text label. So it goes to game.workspace.countdownpart.surfacegui.countdowntext.text. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you want to go up here, click on the X button next to your script, and then we want to go test. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate and next to us is our countdown. We've got eight days, 12 hours and 50 minutes and 10 seconds until Saturday, the 22nd, 7 a.m. If you guys were wondering on why that time was so specific is because that is when my simulator game is going to be released. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing. Feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we'll happily help you out. 
But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.